What do you do if you're a scientist or a lover of science or a lover of philosophy? You think that science and philosophy go some of the way to accessing truth and knowledge, but not all of the way. If you believe that the world is only material, then you're missing a huge part of human experience. What is this me that I'm aware of? That you're not aware of my consciousness. I'm aware of it. It's something which is essential to me. But what is it? Where does it come from? I need a theory which is going to explain every type of mental experience. Since the 17th century, the um, culture of science um, has been dominated by the, the metaphor of the machine. And if you apply the metaphor of the machine to the human being, you get a mechanistic outlook and you get a mechanistic understanding of the human being <coughs> and of the brain. The problem with the materialist worldview is that it leaves out consciousness and purpose from the universe. In 1973, George Blaker and Patrick Shackleton started the Scientific and Medical Network. They started it because they felt that the materialistic views of science were too limited. These limited views were affecting our society. When I came to the SMN, it was at a time when I was uh, thinking a lot about who I was and what life was all about. And the answers to the questions that I had in my mind seemed to come from different corners. Some of them came from science, some of them came from philosophy. I've looked to Jung, I've looked to the East, to Buddhism, to Taoism, uh, to art, music. These were obviously powerful ways to find out knowledge. But one home that I found uh, in about 10 years ago was the scientific and medical network. I think this group of people working together is the best thing in Britain for trying to find a way forward. What is important about the scientific and medical network is that actually it was interested in, it is interested in the whole range of phenomena. It is interested in the physical world, it is interested in the mental world, the paranormal world, the psychic world, but it's also interested in the spiritual and the mystical world. We try to find some kind of middle way between, on the one side, the demands of and the methods of science. Uh, we try to apply scientific rigor wherever it is, is necessary and useful. But at the same time, we recognize the importance of the spirit, of the unspoken, of, the, of that which goes beyond uh, analysis and logic. The Scientific and Medical Network is interested in the link between the whole, the whole range from physical, mental and spiritual.